All right, now what we're going to get into is putting head joints on these brick. We're going to talk about the proper way to hold a brick, uh, how to turn a brick, uh, how to flip a brick, and how to put full head joints. We're also going to get in uh, full head joints on a roll lock or soldier course. See, a brick is a funny thing. If you lay it this way, it's called a roll lock. If you lay it this way, it's called a soldier. If you kick them out every once in a while, it's called a sailor. But basically, everything that uh, you do, once I show you these different ways to throw, to place a head joint on a brick, you'll cover everything that you'll ever need to know. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do it both right and left handed. What you've got to understand is this is 3 eighths of an inch. Now in case you haven't noticed, in our school, we're all hands on. The only classroom instruction you get is whenever I pull my tape out and show you the distance between my thumbs is 3 eighths of an inch. Now all that you're going to learn as far as classroom goes, is this is three-eighths of an inch. Now what I want is I want three-eighths of an inch on the top, the bottom, and both ends of a brick. Okay? We're going to teach you how three-eighths of an inch looks and feels. I just showed you how it looks. I'm going to show you. There's three-eighths. Alright, now let's go over this real slow here. All right, you're holding the brick. I'm looking at the thin angle of that brick. I'm now looking at the thin deal of my trowel. Come down, wedge it like that. Take and turn it over a little bit. Bring it over like this. You got that? That is a full head joint. Let's do it again. Two, three eighths, hold it. Hit it. Now then, take that brick and turn it a little bit. Come over. Turn it a little more. Got it. That's a full head throw. There's three eighths of an inch. Hold it up there like this. Got three fingers here. One finger on top and your thumb. That's the right way to hold a brick. Take it. Get it down. Turn it over. Turn it a little bit. Okay, see how easy that is? Now, I could do it like this, and a lot of bricklayers do. Go like this, uh, get all this, do all this turning and everything else. You know, go like that. But it's so much easier when you do it like this. Wedge it, turn it, turn it. Okay, make it one continuous. Pat it down, turn this at the same time, bring it over. See how easy that is. Okay, now we're going to do that right handed. Let me just kind of move over here. There's your three eighths of an inch. You're looking at it at an angle. The skinny part angle, you're holding it in your hand. Coming down at an angle. Coming down at an angle. Turn it a little bit, turn it a little more, it's a full head joint, and push it back in. Down, turn it a little bit, up, turn it in a little more, turn the brick a little more, full head joint. Break it off, shave it off, keep your trial clean, let's do it again. Hold that brick out, three fingers, one, thumb. Hand away. Don't be trying to come in like this. Anything like that. Stand like this. Hold your arm out. Hit it once. Turn it. Full head joint. All right. I'm going to do it again. I want you all going to stand here and you're going to practice this until you get where you can do it. That's all there is to it. Full head. Okay, now then, 
what we're going to do is we've been doing it on this end now we're going to do this end the end that's closest to your body here we go same procedure hit it hit it go ahead John take that break up turn it turn it hit it go ahead John
for a roll lock or a soldier course. Now we're going to do it right hand. Same thing. Three fingers there, one on top, your thumb. Trout full of mud. Okay, smear it off. Get off your trout. You got it like that. Now come down at an angle. Hit the back side. Hit this. Hit that. Full head joint. Full head joint. Okay. Let's do it again. Go off the trout. Full head joint. I'm going to do it one more time. That's it. And down. Full head joint. Alright. Now let's say that you were going to lay the enclosure on a soldier course. The best way to do that is, in other words, this is going to be the last one of a soldier course. Stand up there like this. There you go. Got mud on both. You buttered both ends of the last one and you slide it in. Alright. Now then we're going to go over. I'm going to demonstrate what it is I've been showing you. When you clean that brick, you shave it, flip it in your hand. Here it's got a groove. Take the point of your trowel. Clean it. What we have found at this school is the people who clean the brick the better, the best, or the ones who are the best bricklayers, the ones who are the neatest, the cleanest, who make the most money per hour when they leave this school. Cleaning a brick is a very good way to get this trowel to where it becomes part of your hand. When we first started the school, we were planning on hiring some people to come do it. But I got in and started helping them clean the brick. We had three or four students when we first got started. And that's when I realized how important and what a good training deal it is to clean these bricks, but to clean them right. Because here you're learning to flip that brick. You're going to always be flipping that brick. For as long as you're a bricklayer. Okay, now then. Here's what we're going to do. I've got, uh, I'm going to show you another way to throw head joints on, on both sides. Now let's say you're out here and you're laying brick. You lay that brick, and you're laying, throwing a head joint over the line. In other words, you're walking forward. Get you a 3 eighths of an inch joint, bring it down, Flip it upside down and lay another one up again. Okay? Let's look at that again. Come in. Okay, so that's a way to throw a head joint. Okay? And you're laying three eighths of an inch. Now don't come like this. Don't come like that. See? That's not full. You gotta hold your hand close. Your hand close as you lay the brick. Hold it close. That's a full head joint. Turn that okay? Hold it close. Right. Hold it close. Don't want a head joint. Okay? Hold it close. Alright. Now then I'm going to move on the other side and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do it right in. There's that brick. Some mud. Hold your hand close. Let roll it upside down. Throw it down. Some mud. Throw it down. Yeah. Some mud. Throw it down. Some mud. Throw it down. Okay. Called throwing it over the line, over the line. Throwing a head joint over the line. Okay. Practice that. Like I said, the biggest mistake some of the students make is they come like this. You've got to get your trial there at an angle. Drop it over. All right. 
Now then, what we're going to do is we're going to practice laying six bricks. And this wall right here so you can see it. What we're going to do is we're going to do it without a bed joint. In other words, we're not going to spread mud on the board to begin with. What we're trying to teach you is what a 3 eighths of an inch joint looks like. Okay? Take the 3 brick here. On this side. And we'll get the 3 brick over here. Alright? I'm going to show you right handed first, and I'll show you left handed. Begin with, pick up a brick. Always hold the trowel in your hand. Never put the trowel down. Pick the brick up, three fingers. Main finger up front, thumb on the side. I want you to take and put that brick right here. I want you to line it up using your eye and your trowel to line it up, okay, with the board, with this board. Get you three eighths of an inch mud, throw you a joint, okay? Now on the first brick, if I just pick up another one and hit it, I'm going to slide it off. So on this first brick, the, tri the hand that you have your trowel in, you take your thumb and put your thumb on that brick so that you don't push it off when you lay another brick to it, okay? Okay, now then use the point of your trowel. Remember the point of the trowel. And I don't ever want to see you doing this. Use the point of your trowel to adjust it. Reach in here, grab your three eighths. Throw you a joint. Come out here. You don't have to hold your thumb on it anymore. Lay that grip. Use the point of your trowel. The point of your trowel to adjust it. Reach in here. Grab another three eighths of an inch. Throw it on there. Okay. Stick it in there. Okay. Get another three eighths. Throw it on. Line it up. Grab that brick, three fingers, one on top, you come on the side. Go down there. Get you another three eighths. These brick here, you make sure you got a solid jam on the corner. See right here it's cut. You always got to look at a brick and make sure you're laying it right in the right place. Lay that thing down there. Okay, and as you can see here, I came out perfect. Okay. The reason being, I wanted to be about three eighths inches away from the board. The reason being is that a brick and a mortar joint equals eight inches. A brick is like a two by four. A two by four is one and five eighths inches thick and three and five eighths inches wide. A brick is the same thing. You burn three eighths. A brick is seven and five eighths inches. When you put a joint on it, it's eight. This board is cut four feet. Four feet, four times eight, or rather, six times eight is 48 inches. However, let's look. You got one, two, three, four, five, six brick, and you have one, two, three, four, five joints. Therefore, you need to be three eighths of an inch shy down here. Okay, now then, we've done that. We're gonna go back, we're gonna clean these brick. Okay, put it right there, clean them. Clean it. Three on this side. Clean the board. Okay, clean those bricks. Put the head joint back in. Put the brick there. Clean the brick. Make sure you got it good and clean. Alright. Now then, make sure the surface is good and clean. Well, let's do it again. Right, this time we're going to put the head joint on another one. That you've been practicing, that you've already done. Lay that brick, pick up a brick, hold it.
it down, hit it. Put your thumb here, put that brick in there. Okay? Remember to put your thumb there so that you don't shove it off. Okay? Use the point of your trowel, a little adjusted. Okay? Reach in there, grab you some more. Remember? Throw that mud in there. Lift. Very rare will you ever, you may have to work on a job where there's all kinds of inspectors and they'll insist that you cannot you must throw the head joint on the brick before you lay it. In other words, you can't lay the brick. You can't put the head joint on over the line. In other words, you've got to butter. Butter a full head joint and lay it rather than go over like so. Okay? So you need to know how to throw a full head joint on a brick. There you go. Okay? Okay? There you are. We've got about three eighths of an inch again. So there we are. Alright. Now then, I'm going to do it one time for the south pole. We're going to move along. Okay. Ain't no trick. Put your thumb here, just like a while ago. 
Use your eye. Okay? Use your eye. Throw that hand joint. Use your eye. There's a rock under that. I can't believe it. My goodness. Back here, all right. 
back in a minute. We'll see how we come out when we get down at the end. Okay, this concludes. Now we're going to sum this tape up.
by saying that uh, uh, I've been showing you how to fur mud for brick. Now what I'm going to show you one time here is how to flatten the mud. In other words, I've worked on a couple of three jobs since 1963 where you could not fur the mud. You had to flatten the mud. So in case you run into it so that you don't know uh, if some big dark secret, here's how it is. You spread it the same way, of course. Roll that, roll that mud out. There we go. All right, now, as I've showed you, here's furring the mud, okay? But here's flattening the mud. It's when you just take it and flatten it out, okay? In other words, instead of furring, you flatten. Now, we're going to go through that one more time so that everybody understands it. So that uh, somebody tells you, don't fur the mud, I want you to flatten it. So then here's what you do. You simply spread the mud. And you walk back through and you flatten it. Just flatten it out. So that's done there. Okay. And that's all there is to it. And you lay on it the same way. That concludes this tape. Thank you.